What's up everybody, Jacob Wheeler here going to dive into some of the baits that I've been throwing this season. These are some straight fish catchers now. Shallow water to mid depth diving crankbaits. And these are brand new to the market. So we've got some goodies we're gonna talk about. We're gonna start shallow and then I'm gonna sort of slowly go a little bit deeper. First off, we have the new Rapala. Tiny, OG tiny. This guy runs about four feet deep. It's a flat side, has just a really unique action and it's perfect for those flatter banks. Um, when the fish are just a lethargic mood in the springtime, this bait gets it done. And it's definitely one you're gonna probably wanna add. Now, I feel like with more people on the water these days, there's times when bass get so pressured, they just don't wanna bite. And I think of like a finesse, a finesse crankbait would in my mind would be, you know, a shad wrap. A shad wrap catches a lot of fish and it just catches them really good in the pre-spawn. It catches them when it's cold. It catches when they just don't want to bite. And I think tiny is just an addition to that family. It's, it's going to run in that, you know, it's going to be really good in that two to four foot depth zone. But it's when you get into an area, there's a lot of boats, but you know the bass are there. That's when tiny is going to excel. One that I'm super pumped about is the Rapa DT8. This bait will actually run up to 10 feet deep, which is like crazy. It's a small profile crankbait. Great for the pre-spawn, great for the fall when the fish are on small bait and you just can't get them to bite. This little dude right here is gonna catch them. You know, one thing that's really nice about that DT8 is ultimately it has a little bit longer bill. And so it's it's really going to be able to deflect and come through cover just a little bit better. And, and that's a huge deal. I mean, ultimately staying unhung and, and going through pieces of cover is how you trigger bites. Now, for more of a, an aggressive action, okay, this is something that 13 Fishing came out with this bait last year with the Jabber Jaw. And it was basically a lip, metal lip on a crankbait that hit the head of that crankbait like a vibrating jig. And that's something that's really unique. Now they are coming out with a new extension of this, the Deep Jabber Jaw. And I've played with this bait a lot. It's super buoyant, it's worked really well offshore. It's worked in a lot of different scenarios, but it just ultimately that action, that sound, that's gonna be an aggressive, very aggressive type lure. It's gonna have a lot of, a lot of sound, a lot of action. Um, so, you know, for great for those stained water days, great for when you're trying to trigger those bass into biting. And that dude right there, he's gonna get a lot of play. All right, so with the deep jabber jaw, this is gonna be a crankbait that, I mean, it's a sound they've never heard before in a crankbait, you know, because ultimately, I mean, a vibrating jig has probably been one of the best fish catchers over the last 10 years since this came out. So now to have that sound and ultimately have that wide wobbling action, you know, it does a great job over rock, over brush, over stumps, whatever it may be. It's just something of a unique combination that the fish haven't seen. Now, last but not least, is a deep wiggle war. Now, a deep wiggle war, a wiggle war in general, like I think about it, okay? Wiggle war is probably top five lures of all time in bass fishing. You know, you think of lakes that like I'm here today, Highland Reservoirs being a really good deal, but ultimately this is something that you can catch bass on all over the country. So don't limit it to just one section or one type of lake. Now, the deep wiggle war will dive a little bit deeper. It's gonna dive to potentially even 13. I've, I've hit bottom in 13 foot of water with this bait down with 10 pound line. Um, and you could even go eight if you wanted to even get it deeper, but it's really more for that 10 to 12 foot zone. So if you're trying to get on a rocky bank or a flatter point and you're trying to get into that zone and have that same action as the original wiggle wart, you can do that now. So this dude right here, I've caught a couple big small mouth on him, big large mouth. It's just something that that action seems to really get bit. You pre-spawn, post-spawn, it just works. You know, one thing you're gonna notice right here is I have two hard hitting baits and then two cellar baits. Ultimately, you're never gonna really know the mood of the fish. You think if it's a windy day, you might throw a harder hitting crankbait, but I've seen days where it's flat, calm and sunny and they're eating the heck out of wiggle wart. And I've seen days where it's, you know, blowing as hard as it can possibly be and they're gonna ultimately eat a DT or a, or a slim. That's really what it comes down to is just really dialing in each and every day. You don't want to get too dialed in in bass fishing if you're fishing multi-day events, or if you're just going out there, you want to have an array of different baits, have different actions, different colors, and try to figure out what those fish really want. 